Good day guys, I'm Gillian and I'm here with Angeza today. Angeza, welcome. Hi, hi Gillian. Um, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here today. Great, guys. Angeswa is our BI intern and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about his journey as an intern here at About IT before, during and we'll look forward to hearing about more of that, more of that going forward. Um, but let's begin with if you could tell us more about yourself. Who is Angeswa? Okay. Um, hi everyone. As Jillian has mentioned, uh, my name is Angeswa. Um, it's basically my clan names. Um, it's, it's a celebration of the heritage of oh. my family. Oh. Wonderful. And what language is that? It's it's Tos. Um, it's is Tos. I spoken in Eastern Cape. Um, I'm originally from East London. I actually grew up in a highly poverty-stricken area, which had a lot of people who were informal vendors. Um, I think that's actually where I got my passion or love for business. So these informal vendors, the the core of their businesses, they were centered around um, communication, getting to know your customers, and this is actually where I first learned of the term social entrepreneurs. So personally, I love new technology. I also love finding innovative solutions to the obstacles uh, experienced by those social entrepreneurs. So, yeah. That's who you are. That's who I am. Great. So, Angezwa, tell us, how did the concept of social entrepreneurship influence you, firstly? And secondly, how is that linked to you becoming an intern at Um, um As you know, Julian, um, I generally love challenges. I have a very active and wild imagination. I love exploring different ways and different methods of figuring out solutions. So when I was studying at when I was studying architecture at varsity, there were students that were attacked and harassed while they were in the computer labs. And that actually raised a certain fear in me. And I wanted to actually try and figure out a way to actually try and solve this problem. And this is when I actually came up with the concept of a safety and security app. So I spoke to my lecturer about it, and he suggested that I enter an incubation program called Telcom Future Makers. So I made it into the program. Alongside that, there was also a data visualization workshop that was coming up. It happened to be hosted by About IT. This is where I met yourself and the company CEO, Mr. Harit Olafir. So while I was in the audience listening to Mr. Olfier deliver his speech, I was actually mind blown. Sparks went up, it went out of my head, and um, I was like, I have to speak to this man. At that point, I didn't actually know what I was going to speak to him about, but somehow I figured that there is a possible link between my app idea and his company about IT. So I stuck around after the event, and when I saw an opportunity. I quickly went in and I spoke to him um, and then I asked for his business card. So I decided, hey, I need to actually create an impression. Let me just tell him or talk to him about what's currently happening in the technology space so that he remembers me when I send him an email. Anyway, after that, uh, I spoke to him and I emailed him. I asked to actually meet with him. I had no idea what I was going to talk to him about, but I knew it was something to do with my app and technology. So we had a great meeting. A couple of weeks later, I get an email from him. So I'm like, okay. So we have an exchange of emails and eventually he says, no man, the reason why I'm talking and asking you these questions is because I think I may have a position for you. I may have a job for you. So I'm like, okay. At that point, I had a lot going on. I had a presentation for the incubation program. So I was like, Ugh. But anyway, later I, decided to go for it because I was like, why not? So I went for it and I didn't even know what this BI thing is. And that's how I became a BI intern at About IT. When I got here, I didn't really know what BI was about. But for some reason, I was just excited to learn. And then I found out that BI is actually, um, it, it deals with its business intelligence. So we take data. 
we clean the data and then we put it together to create reports to actually help companies and businesses make more informed financial decisions. Maybe we show them a graph or a report about how they've been doing in the past uh, two financial years, for instance. And then they can make more informed decisions in terms of which months are particularly more uh, active and profitable for them. So I'm learning a lot. I'm learning really a lot when it comes to entrepreneurship. And I'm starting to have ideas actually about how I can actually solve some of the obstacles and problems that I've seen in my community that has a lot of social entrepreneurs who need um, guidance and support in terms of resources and other technological uh, means. Okay, and um, tell me, I know that you left PE and you moved up to Pretoria to take this position. How was the transformation for you, the transition from PE to Pretoria? Did you find the people to be welcoming? How have you adjusted in being a member of the Bharati team? Well, to start off, I've always been in a community of people that are a lot of people, loud people, happy people. So I've always interacted with people consistently. So now when I moved to Pretoria, I knew no one basically. So now it was strange for me. I, I, I literally had a life of go to work and go back home. But the support that I actually got from about IT, I actually felt like I'm going to work, but I'm almost going to a family. If I had problems, I could easily speak to one of my colleagues and they'd be more than willing to assist even when I'm struggling with work. I know that I can speak to this person or that person or that person. Uh, it's 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 generally generally been a, a good experience, I must say. Um, the adjustment was a bit scary, but I've I've managed to actually settle in. <laughs> cool. And guess what? Tell me, if you could go back from before you were an intern, mm -hmm. what advice would you give yourself mm -hmm. from where you are standing now? Okay, Jillian. Um, the most important lesson is that Rome was actually not built in one day. So it's actually very important to actually pace yourself because it's not about trying to learn as quickly as you possibly can, but it's actually about taking it in so that it becomes a skill that you can use to advance yourself, your career, and those around you. So there's someone who actually asked me, um, so how do you eat an elephant? And I was like, huh? So he's like in small portions. Yes. It's very important to go with the process, allow you to take in the process. And it's very important because it's very easy to be ambitious to a point that you want to learn everything now. Mm. But it's not realistic. You will crash. You will suffer because you put too much pressure on yourself and you'll start doubting yourself. So it's actually very important as interns to want to add value, mm. but don't rush yourself. Mm. So another thing is curiosity and enthusiasm. So if I wasn't enthusiastic about my safety and security app, I wouldn't have gone to the uh, data visualization workshop. If I wasn't curious, I wouldn't have actually wanted to speak to Mr. Khalid Olivier. And if I didn't actually do have those two things, probably I wouldn't be here today. So curiosity, enthusiasm very important and we're young anyway so there's nothing really stopping us i mean you only live once what do you love. say young love. there you have it <laughs> guys there you have it from angeswa a uh, little bit about where we are at in your internship already six months in yes. and uh like you said yolo go for it take a leap of faith and um be enthusiastic and curious and curious yes Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.